showing you here one quick and easy trick to deal with the cavitation of the differentials so this one here gets cavitated by the dog bones over time no matter how how safely you run it so this is the center differential it has a flat surface here but you can actually change it with a round one so the round one is much thicker and much more durable than this center one that is flat so um, I have here the, this is the front differential or rear differential so they have round drive cups that are more durable so you can actually interchange all these parts but that's a good thing about this gears here they share they share the same gear um gear case or gearbox they, they share the same bearings the same i mean but different drive cups so what it did was these round drive cups from my worn out um, front differentials i put it on this uh, center differential in this case so, I'll show you so that's it now so I've been running this a few times now and it's not cavitating yet so this cavitation we have here is from the previous runs when it was still attached to the front differentials so this is the original one on the front differentials that has been running for more than a year and it's not Will cavitate easily. So when it spins forward, the force is directed towards here. So it doesn't cavitate so much, and it's on reverse. The force is directed the other way. Same with the front part. It's using around. So see the difference. This is flat. This is flat and this is round. So I can focus it. This is the round one. So it's the same as this. It's using also round differential. You notice it doesn't cavitate so easily. So that's the trick. So if you want to if you want your center differential to last longer get these round ones and put it on your center differential they're called uh, the drive cups or the out drive whatever so this one is solved this but don't worry in the future i'll be i'll be featuring some compatible center differentials um to this